So, you just received your new DAC? Or perhaps your new CD player? Or even better, your new Super Audio CD player, which it's capable of playing Super Audio CDs, DVD audios, Blu-ray audio discs, etc., etc. But you don't know how to get that high resolution out of the player to your DAC? We have the solution. Go. So today we're going to take a look at this issue that I have been chasing for a very long time. And finally, I do have a few solutions, actually three. Okay, so as most of you know, I have an Oppo 105D, which is one of the last Oppos they ever made. Sadly, the after that, there was the 205, which is even better. But after that, Oppo closed and is doing only smartphones now so happy then we lost a great brand in hi-fi okay so I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you are wondering I'm sure a lot of you have an Oppo and are wondering how to get that signal be besides the normal CD resolution also those that other high quality resolution as I said from the other type of discs to your DAC usually that's the main problem because there are software protections hardware protections sometimes and you can't get managed to send that signal to your DAC in order to enjoy a high quality conversion now I have an Audiocom signature modified Oppo and the quality is already amazing as you've seen in my recent video that where I reviewed the May DAC which I recently purchased, I have, I found a fantastic I2S connection. So in order to enjoy that, or if you don't have I2S or just simply the normal SPDIF, the Sony Philips digital interface, which unfortunately is rather obsolete, but it's still present everywhere. As we all know, that can only go up to 192 kilohertz per 24 bits which is still decent which is still decent but again even if you're using when you're using SPDIF you're mainly talking about a coaxial type of connection and also the optic fiber connection also known as Toslink to Shiba Link so these are the ways you can send in theory that signal to an external DAC which now are flourishing uh, all over the place and it does make sense if you have a good player why not send that signal to your new high quality DAC new DAC so there are three main solutions that we can deal with I mainly based my experience as you can imagine on my Apple but we can talk about uh, general solutions more or less now the first solution is the hardest and probably the more expensive it's the one concerning a replacement or an addition of hardware inside the machine like for example there is a dedicated site for oppo oppo mode which i'll put the link here below where you can do all kinds of modifications for example you can do this i square s capability unfortunately though this is only uh, related to the last models unfortunately for example in my case the 105 which a lot of people have you can't do the mod so no solution there but for others there is and obviously i'm sure there are other places to do similar modifications not only for apple but other players so just look around because there are out there a second solution which i also tried is trying to use an audio extractor now this one, the Canix Pro, was one of the most recommended for Oppos. And as you can see here, what is the principle? To, to connect your HDMI cable output of your player and send the uh, extracted audio, digital audio, to your DAC via 
HDMI or via SPDIF. I tried both and I have no idea why it did not work. But I did read online that, did, that some people were managed to do this, to send the digital signal out and about. So if I think that I have a modified Oppo, maybe I have some further issues than the normal users. So maybe that's the problem. But I would start trying to use something like this. I actually bought three or four on Amazon because you can find them pretty cheap now. You don't have to necessarily go to this one. But if you go to Amazon, and I'll try to put a link or two, check them out. Maybe you can already try to extract the audio from your each HDMI cable and send it via uh, SPDIF, which is probably the best solution. Obviously, in that case, you cannot send a DSD signal. Hence, you cannot send the DSD of your Super Audio CDs. So this is a, almost of a half solution. The best solution, as you can imagine, is to use HDMI, the cable. Obviously, HDMI uh, is not present that much in, in the different DACs. In most cases, you're going to find it actually in new, modern cases, contemporary DACs, you're going to find the I2S. Now, as Tim Connor from Holo Audio strictly underlined, because I was making a huge mistake, HDMI signal and I2S signal are two completely different things. They have different voltage, so don't mix them up. I made this mistake. Thank you, Tim, for helping me in this. And in fact, the next solution comes from him. I was looking actually for something like this, but I did not look in the right place, but I did finally manage to find it. What is it? We have an HDMI I2S converter. Oh, yes. Now, this magic little box is uh, very practical because you can do all sorts of kinds of modifications if you want to modify the output signal. If you're only interested in audio, you're probably not going to need to do anything in, inside. Just connect on one side the, your HDMI here, the input obviously coming from the output of your machine, another HDMI cable here, which where it says IIS, which means I square S. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put some pictures, obviously, and that will go to the DAC, obviously. It does have a power socket if you want to uh, use a, a transformer. It does not, you do not need that usually because HDMI carries power, and in that case, you're, you're good to go with nothing else. But if you want, you can add that. As you can see, you can also send the audio signal via optical and via coaxial. So it's also SPDIF. And the price is very, well, quite cheap. I mean, it's not too expensive. I paid around $50, but I see that the prices go up and down, including shipping though, to Italy. So that's good. Obviously, where are these coming from? The only place where are they coming from? China. I looked all over the place. No, it's impossible. In the past, you could find the card inside the bare card and you do and you can still find that at a lower price at that point with just the components but i think having a little case is a little more nice fancy it protects it from the dust it's just better you hit, hook up the two hdmi cables possibly of high quality please remember that high quality hdmi cables it does make a difference and you just leave it there for good the only downside of this is that the signal, even though it remains digital, it is passing through a circuit. It is modified. It's transformed from one type to another. So it's not going to be the optimal solution. Also, Tim was saying this. So the best would be a native I2S signal to I2S input. But you really need a dedicated player in that sense. And very few do have that. So I think this is an excellent solution and the results are very, very good. The review I did of the MADAC were based on this solution and obviously I made a comparison with the SPDIF and this one. 
I'm, I believe if I had an, a true native I2S connection, the, the sound would have been even better. Obviously, I also used the USB, which is another great solution. But USB is mainly connected to my computer. If you want to use, as I said, all the different discs with high resolution media, you're going to need something like this. So I will put the link here below. Oh, I found this, as you can imagine, on eBay, n not in other places, maybe Alibaba. Sometimes you can find it here in Europe. It's more difficult to buy on, on Alibaba, but maybe you can. In any case, I'll put the links here below. So check them out. Try, give us some feedback and let us know if you finally solved this darn issue due to copyright restrictions, which do not make any sense anymore. Thank you for watching, guys. And remember, music is born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.